Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. So ADA continues to be in this downward sloping channel. Um, no new price action here, but we're pushing against the ceiling. We looked at this chart yesterday and um, yeah, said that obviously it's, it's trying to break out here. So far it hasn't done it. And a move above 38 cents would indicate that in my opinion, something more bullish is going on. Um, bear in mind, we're waiting for a breakout here. We are in the yellow trend reversal zone, but price action here doesn't fully suggest yet that we have bottomed. However, here I think on this chart, I would be more open to a direct breakout than for example on the Bitcoin or Ethereum chart. So the probability is here very close together, which is why on this chart I'm sketching out for you the detailed wave count for both the direct bullish and the direct bearish case. Um, or at least short-term bearish, because overall also here, we're still expecting further upside. It's just that on the micro level here, one more low would be likely as long as we stay below 38 cents. However, a breakout to the upside is also possible. It's also likely to be honest. So we have to just be un um, aware of the relative invalidation points. Uh, and for anybody who's looking for a bullish chart or for a bullish trade setup, that would have worked out yeah, had you traded the, the bullish pivot. Um, so we're going to take a look at that in a minute. So here, the idea is that um, we have an ABC structure to the downside that's unchanged from the previous videos. We are constrained by the trend channel. Um, a breakout of the channel would be a first indication something bullish is going on. We're pushing against the ceiling here at the moment. We have a wave one down, a wave two up, a wave three down. This here is very strong, this possible wave four, um, but in an ending diagonal, possible um but uh, yeah due to the corrective nature of this structure different interpretations are possible i would also not rule out that we have here a more complex wxy structure on the way down but we'll see i mean at the moment it's really tricky price action everywhere um it, it really is there are a few clear setups um well there are setups everywhere in the crypto space but on the micro level we have very messy price action at this stage but anyway, um, the levels are quite clear here. It's the 38 cent level, a break above it would unlock some more bullish potential. Um, in this particular sell off case, it should literally turn around now. And we are basically now in the range where it, where it should do that in such a one, two setup to the downside. But I would wanna see for confirmation, we are coming down. I would wanna see a take out, it to take out that swing low at 36.5 cents. That I think would add more downside pressure. We are now in resistance for this wave two. So if you take a look, we've reacted to the 78.6 retracement at 37.5 cents. Okay, so here is now another chance for it to head down. But if it breaks above 37.5, it will make it very likely to get to 38. And if it gets there, to be honest, it will probably take it out. So this is sort of the last reliable um, so, well, resistance level for this wave two that could lead to a direct sell off, in my opinion. Okay, now what happens if it breaks above it? As I said, we would then look at the more bullish case. I'm observing that and sketching that out anyway. Um, this is the direct breakout setup case for ADA, where you can see the movement of the May low. We counted this as a wave one to the upside. We counted the move down as a wave two. We hit the trend reversal area or support area. We reversed. And now actually we have a first possible five wave move up. Yeah. So it's going to get interesting. So um, we had a bullish pivot here. Support. Yeah. So it turned around in that area. So what I'm going to do, going to move that now to the left because this is now worth observing because we did push higher in five waves. So on this chart, I can count that as a wave one to the upside of the 22nd of May low. So that is another five wave move that might lead to a push to the upside. Um, on the bearish chart here, I mean, I might get away with the WXY, but to be honest, because you can count it as five, this is really an important decision point now. So if we now come down and hold the wave two support. Then this could be the next turnaround. 
Yeah, so again here, we have a possible wave one to the upside and in wave two, it needs to hold 36 cents, which means a sustained break below 36 cents will likely cause it to drop on the bearish chart. We identified 36 and a half, but that is structural support. But if we go by FIB support, it's 36 cents. So maybe that's more relevant. So that would indicate also here, of course, in the bearish chart, a break below 36 cents would be a, would give us high likelihood that it's following through to the downside. Then we would also break through the golden ratio support. But yeah, this is the scenario. I mean, again, this could be traded and this is another pivot that can be traded. I always say, when you try to trade Elliott waves, don't necessarily trade the primary scenario. At the moment, the primary scenario for me is still down because we are still below the 38 cent level and I'm not convinced by the upside, but these are valid parameters against which can be traded, which is the value of the analysis. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to trade the primary case. You trade the pivots where risk is low and reward is high. Unfortunately, at the moment in the crypto market, probabilities for both scenarios are fairly close together because we have no clear direction due to a lack of five wave structures. That's unfortunately sometimes how it is. Okay, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.